Can I get a venti mocha frappuccino with two shots of blonde espresso? You got it. And then can I also get a mocha drizzle on top of that? And then a warmed up chocolate croissant, and that's gonna be it. Awesome, thank you my friend. Have a good one. You too. You can see how big Belle is. Belle is fully grown. <laughs> Not that. Okay. Oh my. They're playing. And then Vader's a big chonk now. Big chonk. So handsome. I need my monthly reset. This isn't just gonna be like a glow up video like I always do. No, no, no. This is like something I do every single month. Not on a set day, it's just like I know I need to do these things. I do a lot of these things multiple times in the month, but it's like that month cleaning that the apartment needs, that I need. I need to vacuum the couch. I need to vacuum the entire apartment. I need to vacuum the bed. I need to wash all the sheets. I need to do all the laundry. I need to like disinfect all the counters. I need to clean all the meals. We've just been kind of like on the go recently. It was just Tyler's birthday and we stayed in a hotel for two days Then right after that it was 4th of July I've been filming a bunch of videos So everything was just kind of a mess because I just like didn't put stuff away You guys are gonna see in a second the bathroom is an absolute disaster first We're gonna clean get all the cleaning out of the way because why would I do like self-care and all that stuff first? Cleaning always makes me feel disgusting and I need like a really good shower after I did do a bunch of stuff last night and I filmed all all of that. So if I'm in like different outfits, that's why. Let's get started.
cleaning is finally done. Literally, it takes so long, it's so much work, but it always pays off. You know, the monthly cleaning is like getting dust everywhere and going in the crevices of everywhere and cleaning everything. And also, like, I'm starting to feel <laughs> the period grumpy start, and I know, like, within the next few days is going to be the start of the before period i would rather just get all of that stuff out of the way so that it's easier to keep it clean rather than do a full cleaning when i'm super grumpy and whenever the house is a mess my anxiety like skyrockets i can't get anything done until it's clean but i also don't want to clean and i just don't want to do anything so i just sit there and i'm just anxious so i like cannot live in a messy space now we're going to move on to the self-care portion first i think i'm going to do my toenails because i haven't done my toenails since the last time I did them and that was posted on May 30th and it is now July 9th. That video was posted late so those were done like a week before that. The polish is like pretty much already off and I think I'm just gonna do something more plain and then I think I'm gonna take these nails off just because they're grown out. Some of them are lifting a little bit but before I do that I am gonna put a hair oil mask in. Oh I totally forgot. I also just got a haircut and it was just a dusting so I'm gonna put that footage in right now. trim because this is all virgin hair and then obviously I have grown out bleach from getting my hair done. You guys have seen everything that has been done to my hair but I am growing my virgin hair out and I want to get it down to my butt and the goal is to get it down to my butt by December. But since my ends have been previously bleached, they are more prone to breakage and split ends. So I just have to keep getting little dustings because my virgin hair obviously is way more healthier than bleached hair and is not as prone to split ends and breakage. But anyway, I am first just going in with a bamboo brush on my scalp to stimulate the blood flow before we're going in with an oil mask. I obviously still have like a bunch of layers, but I am trying to get my ends thicker so I'm not trimming my layers as much or like texturizing thinning out my ends. So now my ends feel so thick and when I had my hair blow dried after, it just like fell instantly and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I do blowouts anymore because they're not gonna be as voluminous. So we're probably gonna end up putting more layers in there because I don't know what to do when I do blowouts anymore. I haven't used this oil yet and it has rosemary oil in it so I've been using rosemary oil for over two years now. Making sure my entire scalp has oil in it and then I'm going to be massaging that. I usually do it for like three minutes. This is also a new product and it's a hair gloss pre-wash treatment. Okay, I'm gonna put this just in my hand like this. I'm taking like a generous amount. Ooh. This smells, this smells so interesting. I don't know what I could be smelling. My ends are so much thicker now after my trim. Scalp oil says to ideally leave it on for three hours. I usually leave my hair oil on for three to four hours. And the hair gloss says to leave it on for at least an hour. It's probably all gonna be on for an hour to two hours while I'm doing my nails. And I'm going to be putting my hair in a braid so it's just out of my face and off of my skin. Tying that off with a scrunchie. Since my hair's been getting longer, it lays on my neck. I am pretty prone to backing from hair products. So I will like fold the braid up and kind of hide the scrunchie. And then take a claw clip and just claw clip it up. And honestly, <laughs> tell me why that's actually kind of a cute hairstyle. Okay, off to nails.
Every single time I go to do my nails, I think, oh, I'm just gonna do this in an hour, two hours. It never works out. And it always just ends up taking me like four to five hours because I'm sitting there watching TV and getting distracted a million times. And I'm a perfectionist and nails just take me a million years. This, guys, guys. This is my natural nail length. And if you've been here for a long time and you have watched my nail tutorials, you guys know this is crazy for me. I put like a layer of hard gel on them and then I put just like a milkyish pink transparent color on top and top coat. I had to build the apex up a little bit so they wouldn't snap off because I definitely don't want them to break. My pinky is actually fake because this nail broke off a while back so it's not as long as all of the other ones. He's the imposter. And then I did my toes and I just painted them white because I feel like white toes are just like, it's summertime, simple, and I did not want to take the time to do a design on them. I'm really happy though because I was really careful about getting it on my skin. My cuticles aren't itchy at all. If you don't know, I'm allergic to gel polish. I did not want to deal with having itchy cuticles all day today. I did just sleep with the hair oil in. I don't like to sleep with hair oil in. It can clog the hair follicle and then like do adverse effect and whatever, but doing it every once in a while isn't going to kill ya. So now I'm gonna go take a shower. It's gonna be an everything shower. So I'm gonna get my leave-in products out of the way. I currently have like the most atrocious sleep schedule. It is 12.03 right now and I hate waking up late, but I'm in this cycle where I'm going to bed at like 3 a.m. Waking up at 10, 11 and I can't get out of it because if I try and wake up early, I crash by the end of the day and I literally will fall asleep wherever I am. Like sitting in a chair at my dining room table, mm, I will take a nap sitting right there. And then if I don't wake up early and I wake up at 11 and I try to go to bed early, I'm literally gonna sit there even if I don't have the TV on or don't call my phone, I'm gonna sit there until like 4 a.m. because I will not be able to fall asleep. I wanna switch it. I wanna wake up at like 5 a.m. and like go to bed at like 8, 9. I'm letting my hair air dry a little bit and while we do that, I'm gonna go in with a face mask. Honestly, at this point, Dr. Jart, yeah, y'all need a sponsor because mm, I use your guys' mask all the time. Hit a girl up. I like to go in with the brightening one in the morning. I don't know why. Vitamin C just seems like a morning thing. I'm gonna leave this on for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna go eat breakfast. And I'm also gonna be letting my hair air dry. Call me crazy, but I kinda don't wanna blow dry my hair. Okay, I usually like really don't like tinted sunscreen, but I saw this Kosas sunscreen kind of like my cat is in the shower. Come here. 
I saw this Kosas scented sunscreen kind of go viral for being like super glowy and I love it. This is coming from someone who hates tinted sunscreen, but it gives like a perfect little tint and it's just like a little bit more sunscreen because I do go in with my mirror all over my face as well. I feel like this is better than going in with a skin tint and honestly like since summer has hit, I've like not really been wearing makeup. My skin is always usually better in the summer. I did this thing for a really long time. I just didn't ever wear sunscreen and in the summer my skin would clear it would be even it would be tan and then when i start to lose my tan in the fall and the winter i have sunspots dark spots all over my face all the spots that i thought went away were there still it just was like hidden by my tan like my face is so much lighter than the rest of my body but i honestly don't care Oh, I was gonna blow dry my hair, but I've been rocking the natural hair more often. It hasn't been getting as puffy, and it just is like in the summer, I don't blow dry my hair as much. And yes, I could have gone in and dyed like my eyelashes, but I dye my eyelashes every like three months. If you want to see more videos like this and see other things I do in my monthly resets and self-care videos, uh, you can subscribe. It's pretty easy. It's free. And then if you guys want to follow me on my other social medias, I of course have all of them. Instagram, we just hit 100k on there. TikTok, it's a lot of hair care, self care, more aesthetic little videos. And then Snapchat is more like unfiltered behind the scenes of my everyday life. If I go to events and stuff like that, where you guys can just see everything. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds to feathers. But like birds to scales, hand in hand, dropping corn